Today we have my current top 5 manga of 2020, with it being obvious that everything mentioned is a must read. Also take note that I haven't read that many manga compared to anime watch, and that this list could very well have changed by the time you watch the video. My goal for 2020 was to reach 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube, so be a mad lad and subscribe alongside these other cool things. Now enjoy the video. First I'll cover some honourable mentions that slightly missed out on getting the top 5. First up we have One Punch Man, Tokyo Ghoul the first part not including Tokyo Ghoul Re, and the new Death Note one shot manga. Now on to the top 5. In 5th place we have everything relating to Baki, meaning all the main manga series and the spin off manga onto the current Baki Dao chapters that come out weekly or bi-weekly currently. So Baki as a whole, once reading it from start to end and then rereading some of the cool fights, I've got to say the fights are the most hype part in this manga and that's mainly the most enjoyable and main appeal of the story so far with there also being a lot of characters that get their own shine and sometimes their own side story in the form of Bucky Gaiden manga series but even characters that don't get their own side story regarding this do get some shine throughout the main manga series sometime whole arcs dedicated to them and how much they've improved and you know build up to a new technique or a big fight that's coming up. An issue can be is how the story can be considered inconsistent at times especially with characters power and feats throughout the story but that is kind of the a little bit of the appeal of Bucky because you don't really know what's going to happen in many cases sometimes it can be very obvious that characters like Yujiro is just going to stomp everyone that's what most readers of the manga just be aware of now Yujiro is the god of the series but some other characters especially when they introduced Miyamoto Musashi in the Bucky Do uh, manga series that was a big shock with the amount of people he took out so there is a lot of shocks and twists and turns throughout the story and of course the main appeal as I mentioned is the fights is the grounded martial art route but it does get to you know abnormal reality and trying to you know expand the craziness of the Bucky universe such as you know Bucky turning to water people stopping earthquakes with punches and stuff like that but still it is a very enjoyable series and even the comedy moments throughout the series that aren't even really meant to be comedy are really enjoyable and once you get to know the story and a lot of the characters those moments are some of the best throughout the series but as a whole Bucky as a franchise is worthy of my top five manga. Also before I move on I make a lot of other videos based on Bucky so if you're a fan make sure to subscribe. So in rank four we have Vinland Saga which is still ongoing and is soon to be approaching the final arc. In short who doesn't love Super Chad Vikings with some of the best character development coming from our boy fourth and the protagonist and of course the greatest and best girl for Cal the chattest of chads of the Viking. but on a real note this is one of the most well written stories I've ever read in my life this Vinland Saga absolute greatness starts off in a different way compared to the anime with me finishing the first season of the anime before starting the manga and I recommend starting the manga from the start because the order that events take place and the way the story is told from the early parts is different in the anime and manga but I still have to agree the anime did a great job in the adaptation so if you want to you know see if you're gonna like Vinland Saga watch the first couple episodes of the anime and if you do watch the rest of that or start the manga and you'll enjoy the absolute shit out of it and of course apart from the great story great characters we also have top tier art throughout the story with it getting better and better as the story goes on and that was an issue a lot of people were worrying about when coming to the anime we had a wit studio do a great anime but a lot of people were worried that an animation studio wouldn't be able to to you know portray the greatness that the Vinland Saga's manga art has in anime form but with studio the absolute chads they are were able to succeed in that regard. Now on to rank 3 we have Record of Ragnarok or Sumatsu no Valkyrie. I also make quite a few videos on this series on my channel so if you're a fan make sure to subscribe. So if you're not already aware the basis of the story Record of Ragnarok is a huge tournament arc so far. We have what 38 chapters currently released and since chapter 1 one, it's been a big tournament arc and that's what you like that's what you're gonna love from record around we have humans versus gods and on the human team I made a whole video talking about every character in the series that's going to fight but in the human team we have characters like Adam Jack the Ripper Rasputin characters like that representing humanity to fight against gods such as Zeus Odin Poseidon and characters like that Hercules a lot of uh, Greek gods but there is like Indian gods like Shiva and very 
warriors, stuff like that, that are going to be fighting in the series. So gods versus humans in a battle that's absolutely great. Each fight so far has been absolute hype. You got the first fight, which was Lu Blue versus Saul, which was a good introduction to the series. And if you're not hooked after watching the first fight or reading the first fight, I mean, the second fight in the manga is Adam versus Zeus, which in my opinion is one of the best fights in all of manga out of everything I watched. And I can't wait to one day we get an anime adaptation for this absolute hype series. The art throughout the fights absolutely great. Even the backstories and the way backstories are portrayed is quite decent as well. But it's mainly focused on the fights and the insanity of the fights. Just imagine characters like Adam facing against Zeus with all these insane powers and cool abilities. Absolute hype. And if you're a fan of, you know, fighting manga, absolute Chad characters and this tournament arcs in general, Record of Ragnarok is a, a must read at the peak for that type of stuff. At rank two, we have Berserk. Everyone who's watching this video who has read Berserk is aware of Berserk's greatness. If you haven't read Berserk, what are you doing? Read Berserk. It's still ongoing. We got what, two chapters this year, I believe. We got a chapter like a week ago at the recording of this video. And that chapter, you know, big reveals, huge reveals in that chapter. I wish we got more chapters more recently because I only caught up to Berserk about like 11 months ago, I believe. And it did take me a little bit to catch up. I did, you know, read little bits at a time. But once I got about 100 chapters in, I ended up reading 200 plus chapters within a week. So once you start getting into Berserk, it'll be absolute greatness. The art in the series is considered the tippy top. It's like three or four manga series who may be considered better art-wise than Berserk. But even disregarding that, Berserk is definitely at the high tier when it comes to art. Even better than Vindang Saga, Record of Ragnarok, and Baki in my opinion. With all those series also having top tier arc. But Berserk is just a whole new beast with the protagonist Guts being probably my favorite protagonist in any series I've watched. He's not my favorite character in any series, but he's definitely top five with him being the protagonist. And not many anime and manga have a protagonist which become my favorite character. So with Berserk having Guts, him being my favorite character, in the series that's just respectable alone the genre and overall vibe of the story is medieval dark fantasy gore absolute insanity great story great character development insane plot twist and overall this top tier story top tier art top tier characters top tier antagonists everything about berserk is absolute greatness berserk of course alongside everything is a must read and now on to my rank one favorite manga of all time if you're a fan of this channel already you're already watching my videos you'll be aware of what this is it's kangen Ash slash Omega with Omega being the sequel manga to Kangen Ashura. I've already made like 200 plus videos talking about Kangen Ashura slash Omega so everything I love about Kangen Ashura is already said but just to give a short little brief introduction of it Kangen Ashura features a big tournament known as the Annihilation Tournament where various fighters represent heads of corporations such as Nintendo various banks and stuff like that to decide who's going to become the next chairman of the Kangen Association. The main focus focus of Ashura is the big tournament with there being some of my favorite fights in manga and anime being in this tournament alone. Some of the coolest characters, some of the coolest fights and absolute hype with it being very grounded, the most grounded series in this uh, video. You could argue maybe Vinland Saga in corresponding to Vikings and everything regarding that but Kangen Ashura most grounded martial art uh, manga I've read so far with it having some supernatural elements but at a base level it is a grounded martial art art manga and as a whole absolutely great I recommend Kangen Ashura then to read Kangen Omega which is still ongoing to this day I do weekly chapter reviews on the series if you have not read Kangen Ashura or started with Omega highly recommend that as my number one manga and everything else on this list is a must read as well and yep that's my top five manga if you enjoyed today's video make sure to subscribe if you want to talk more about the series make sure to join the discord link is in the description and yep that's it guys peace